What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Easy Money X. Uh, before I start, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. It all helps a ton. But today we're going over Parallel Quest 125. And on the screen, you'll see I have the guidelines on how to get it. So the way you do that is by one, defeating all the enemies. Two, clearing with uh, Kefla's health over 50%. And defeating Goku, Beerus, and Champa when they uh, all come. You only got to keep Kefla's health over 50% until... Goku and them come. Once Goku, Champa, and Beerus come, you're in the clear. It don't matter if Kefla, you know, I mean, still keep her alive, but after that, it don't, it don't matter if she goes below 50%. So, I always start these off by powering up. Oh, and also, my uh, support characters. I always go with Zamas, Zamasu, because he can heal himself if he goes down. And usually I go with Piccolo too, because he can heal himself too during the middle of the, the battle. But today I went with Broly because I needed an, ag an aggressor, someone to actually help get some damage on these guys. So I go for hit first because I, I found Kefla and hit always go at it. And I need Kefla to stay absolutely alive as most as she can because this first wave is, is nothing. So what I'm doing now is trying to take care of hit. But at the same time, I'm keeping an eye on Kefla. If I see Kefla's health go down even one punch, I'm leaving hit and I'm going to where she is. So now I'm on Frost because I see Kepler and Frost about to get into it, so I, I don't want none of that happening. I want to take care of Frost too, I understand he's a, a weaker player. So I'm, now I'm going to take care of Frost. So I'm just making sure whoever Kepler's battling, I'm keeping an eye on her health. Because honestly, that's the biggest challenge about this PQ is keeping her above 50. Because I think there's like three waves, maybe it could be two, two or three waves to knock out before uh, Ultra Instinct, Goku, Beerus, and Champa come. So, Thing. Frost is just about done. Now I got my eye on Kaba. I'm gonna hit him with a giant storm. And that took off a lot of health. That's why I keep giant storm. I recommend it. I think I did a video about it. I could be wrong. I recommend it because it does a lot of damage and it's a long range move. So if you get done with an enemy, lock on to another one, bing, hit him with a giant storm. Your job is a lot easier now. And Kaba, I mean uh not Kaba. Kefla health still above 50 honestly it's probably what is that like 80 it looks like 85 that's solid we just take care of hit real quick one on one or i guess three on one take care of him now we're good next wave of enemies goku gohan and vegeta these two are super Saiyan blue and gohan is mystic form it's not going to be easy so once again i'm just keeping an eye on kefla and if i'm being honest this PQ might take you a few tries, some uh, like maybe two practice runs until you can, you know, figure out the pattern in which they attack Kefla. But I try to take care of Goku as fast as possible because he's the strongest by far. Like they give him some AI cheese, but he's a he's definitely a tough battle. So another thing, make sure you go into these PQs with uh, with heals. But yeah, these are the general guidelines to complete this. So I'm going to speed up this battle a little bit. Just until we get past um, these three. Now here you see Hit come alive. Um, that's a three on one and that's relatively easy. I do suggest you take that battle into your own hands just to assure Kefla doesn't get any more damage. You wanna keep her far away from 50 as much as possible. I can't stress it enough. Um, and during your battle with him, Vegito will come. Super Saiyan Blue, Vegito. So now it's, you, still got this, you still got the advantage. I would take care of business first. Once again, if Vegito gets into it with uh, Kefla, stop the fight with Hit and go over there. That came out. You just, I mean, the most important thing is to make sure Kefla is protected because if she gets above, if she gets below 50%, you might as well just stop. Stop. You're not gonna get the ultimate finish. And one thing I forgot to mention was one: as soon as you finish uh, Super Saiyan God Vegito and Hit, who has like incredible health by the way, as soon as you finish these two. You know, Kefla's health doesn't matter. So just protect her for these two and you're good. Uh, and also, Big Bang Kamehameha is an OP move. Especially when you're in Super Saiyan God form. Because even if you're far away, 
as soon as you charge that up, you transfer, you teleport right to him. Bing! Blast right to the face. So, once again, I'm going to uh, skip this a little bit just until these two are done because, golly, they gave hit a lot of health, dude. But here we go. Alright, the final battle is upon us. It doesn't matter about Kefla no more. Just make sure she doesn't die. But now it's just hands in the field. Of course I want Ultra Instinct Goku first. He is a handful, so I might just come back to him. Um But yeah, so last time. I mean I, there's, there's no real strategy to beating Ultra Instinct Goku because he can dodge everything. Try to blast them as much as you can. I got destructive disc on just to get you know some some effective blasts in. Um, I want to take care of the gods first, so then we can just gang up on you know Ultra Instinct Goku. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna fast forward one last time and let you see how it's done. And there you have it, and as you can see, we're going to get a Z rank on it. Got a lot of. I don't believe it! Stuff. You're seriously awesome! So, Bing, Z rank. And this time they gave me the, I guess, a Bing Sprout, which is, eh, which is whatever. But there you guys have it. That's how you ultimate finish Parallel Quest 125 with the Z rank. Um, yeah. If you found if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. It all helps a lot. So, thank you and peace.